Cohen. I'm with Capital Commodity Services and uh, on today's video we're going to look at the seasonal tendencies for silver futures. Uh, before we get started I'd like to address this disclaimer that there are risks involved in trading futures. If you're contemplating trading please pay close attention to the disclaimer below. Uh, only risk capital should be utilized. Thank you. Okay, our website is ccstrade.com. If you go to quotes and charts and futures seasonal charts, you'll see we've got all the seasonal charts for most of the popular commodities. But for today's video, we're going to look at silver. So if you click on silver, then uh, a chart comes up uh, with four lines. Uh, the black line is the current price of the December 2017 silver. Uh, the red line is the five-year seasonal. The green line is the 10-year seasonal. And the blue line is the 15-year seasonal. So first off, I'll explain what a seasonal is. Uh, uh, a seasonal is merely taking the average price of whatever year it is. Uh, if it's a five-year se uh, seasonal, you take the average price on a given day for the last five years and you plot it on a chart. And that gives you how, on average, silver traded over a five-year period. And you do a similar for 10-year uh, and a similar for the 15-year. So how do you use a seasonal chart? Well, it's another tool, but uh, to use it, you try to find uh, seasonal patterns. For example, it appears that based on a 15-year seasonal, silver tends to make a high in mid-April and then go down in the, the end of July. Um, on the... Uh, 10-year chart, the 10 and 5-year chart, silver peaks in late February, and that seems to be more on track with what the price is doing. It peaked in late February, so did the price. It came down in uh, mid-March. It, it rallies a little into uh, the end of the March, but the the five year and the and the ten year are pointing down. They're not calling for a rally rally into uh, mid April like the fifteen year is. So, but nevertheless, they all point down into into the June July time frame. So, uh, on a seasonal basis, silver is in a negative seasonal uh, tendency for this time period. Now. Would I trade silver from the short side based on these seasonal tendencies? I would not. I mean, I, I would I would use, let me rephrase that. I, I would trade it on the short side uh, if I got a technical signal using technical analysis, seeing a big reversal like we saw on Friday uh, with strict money management uh, stop. Uh, so that's how I would use it. In fact, uh, I discussed some of that in uh, these top 10 rules I compiled. Uh, if you click on the link below um, and go to our website, provide us your email, we'll send you these top 10 rules I compiled over my 35-year trading career, free of charge. Uh, whether you're trading for 20 years or whether you're just starting, if, if you utilize these rules, it will help your trading. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video.